America promises its citizens life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But for Native Americans... Every day, Indian people are dying in Indian communities without the money that they need for the basics of life. Put yourself in our place. 1887, the Allotment Act busts up a tribal land holdings. What was once an Indian reservation is now divided up into 500 different parcels, giving each tribal member their own land. We have oil-rich lands, we have gas-rich lands. The American economy thrives on Indian land. America said, we will manage these lands for you, and we will lease them, and we will give you that check. As long as the grass grows, the water flows, and the wind blows. The government made a promise it never intended to keep. Here's what I got. $89, over $6,000 with the oil taken out of there, and I get 89 bucks. Mary Johnson, a Navajo grandmother, cannot replace windows in her small home because she lacks the funds. Yet there are five oil wells pumping constantly for decades on her land. Early on, I started recognizing these serious problems with the trust accounts. I've tried for years and years, and I couldn't get any answers. You got $2.4 billion here that are unaccounted for. It was our money that they were using whichever way they wanted to. I went to Washington to file the largest class action lawsuit in the history of the United States. I've never sued anybody before in my entire life, let alone the United States of America. I said to myself, if you don't do it, who will? We have a system that hasn't had an accounting for a hundred years. This system developed in the private sector. People would be in jail. You need to stop and think what you would do to somebody if it was your grandmother's estate and it had been plundered. The strength you find in Eloise comes from knowing how determined she will be to fight this until it is won. All we're asking for is accountability. When you lead a movement that seeks fundamental change, there always has to be an iconic figure that simply refuses to get to the back of the bus. And that is Eloise Cobell.